All right. Well, today I wanted to talk about how looks maxing may benefit some people more than others. Looks maxing will make a positive difference overall. Improving your looks can definitely make a pretty big difference in how the world treats you, but there are definitely some limitations in how much you can ascend. I thought about my own looks maxing journey and a few other transformations where it really did make a huge impact, but there are countless other examples of looks maxing not helping as much, but, but still improving their looks in overall life. Looks maxing improved my life dramatically when I lost a lot of weight and got two hair transplants, but I realized that I was lucky in some ways. Um, had I been 5'8 with weak bone structure instead of 6'2 and a half with decent bone structure, it wouldn't have had nearly as big of an impact to keep it a buck. I think your height, your frame, and your bone structure have a huge impact on how much looks maxing can have a noticeable impact. It takes less than a split second for a woman to look at you and know if she's attracted to you or not. And a lot of that will come down to factors that are much, much harder to change, like your height and bone structure. In general, taller men with good bone structure will benefit from looks maxing the most because they already have the physical features naturally that women are most drawn towards. Men that have a high shoulder to waist ratio will also benefit more from looks maxing, particularly in losing weight and building muscle as women are drawn to that as well. I definitely think you can still looks max and improve your appearance to a noticeable degree where you'll get more treated much better. Unfortunately, there will be some guys that don't have much potential with looks maxing, particularly guys that are about a three or below in the looks scale. If you're someone who has, say, like a really recessed chin, negative canthal tilt, you're very, very short as an under 5'4", and you're bald, looks maxing definitely won't have as much of an impact, but it still can help. That person could dress better. They can develop a good skincare routine, build some muscle, improve their grooming, get to a body fat that's at a low level. And it may not attract a lot more women, but it'll definitely still make them look more presentable and overall improve their health and improve their looks uh, to it a little bit. So there's still a benefit to looks maxing, even for guys who are conventionally unattractive. There will also be a lot of guys in the middle who can benefit more from improving their looks. You know, take a guy who's about 5'9", he has decent bone structure, but he's overweight, he has a bad hairstyle, he has an unkempt beard, and he doesn't dress well. If that guy got a good hairstyle for his face shape, he trimmed his facial hair down, he lost some weight, it might take him six months, might take him a year, and he started dressing better, he would definitely increase his looks to a noticeable degree, and he would be able to attract more women than he than he did before. Now for this group of men in the middle, looks maxing can honestly be the difference between getting a long-term girlfriend or not being able to. Being able to looks max from say a four to a six or a five to a six or a six to a seven, even that one point difference, it'll undoubtedly have at least a decent impact in your dating life and overall quality of life should be better. There are some limitations of looks maxing though. Like I said earlier, your height, your bone structure, your eye area, and your frame um, dictate roughly 80% of your looks. And this is your starting point and your genetic limit on how much looks maxing will help you. Your skin tone and your race also play a major role as well. I found the things that can be changed are your hairstyle, your skin care, your fashion, your facial hair, your weight, building muscle, getting teeth whitening. You know, those types of things are all things that can be changed and potentially could up your looks by one to two points overall. And treating hair loss is also something that is somewhat in your control as you have options to either shave your head, get hair transplants, or use a hair system. Now, improving these things will definitely help you attract more women. However, they won't change a woman who wouldn't be attracted to you into someone who will be into you. Looks maxing really only helps with women who would have already been attracted to your look. So to give you an example, let's just say you're a guy who has like a Bradley Cooper type look, um, obviously not being famous though, and you're overweight and you have like a Duck Dynasty beard and a bad hairstyle that doesn't suit your face shape. Because you have these like more fixable flaws, you will have a chance with women that are really into that look. And <laughs> let's just be honest, most women in general, and you could lose the weight you can get to a low body fat and get a much better haircut and trim the beard to about a medium stubble. And you'll notice a dramatic difference between how women respond to you before and after looks maxing. 
And those women who, you know, like that Bradley Cooper look will now really like you because you've enhanced your looks a lot just from doing those four things. However, there will be women that will only like a certain type of guy. And you look smaxing in that example won't really make much of a difference with those women. Those women would have seen you as like a four previous to looks maxing. And you may be after that looks maxing, you might be around a seven in looks. But those women wouldn't really like you anyway, but they'll still see you as more attractive after the looks maxing. So a woman's type definitely plays into also if they're going to find you more attractive as well. Now, hard looks maxing would be a slightly different story. You know, if you change certain facial features to look more symmetrical, let's just say you have a crooked nose, you know, you had bad, you had bad teeth or, you know, you had like a, a weak jaw or weak chin. If you, you know, if you went and, if you went and changed those, like this is something that would make a more of a dramatic difference in how more women would be attracted to you. But before you do any hard looks maxing, definitely see a plastic surgeon and do a ton of research before going down that road as, you know, surgeries to change your 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 jaw, your chin, your cheeks, you know, those are very very in time intensive and they're also very expensive as well. All in all, looks maxing can definitely improve your life. Even just making improvements to your fashion, your grooming, your hairstyle, you know, you know, reducing your body fat, adding some muscle can make a difference that'll improve your attractiveness to women. You know, you may not go from a five to an eight, but you might go from a five to a six. You might be a four and you might be able to go from a four to a five. And just that one point difference or one and a half points difference, that'll help you live a better, healthier life and attract more women. You know, it may not give you all the women in the world. You, you, if you're a five, you definitely don't have a chance with, you know, Victoria's Secrets models, but looks maxing kind of closes that gap and does give you more opportunities with women and gives you more opportunities in life in general. You're always going to have a limit to how much you can looks max, but being the best version of yourself, you know, through these things will help in a lot of other areas of your life. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like, feel free to comment down below and feel free to subscribe. Until next time, take care.